everybody, this is Mark the Game Shark here with another Game Pickups video. Now, it's kind of a small pickups video, but I do got some heavy items. Um, as of recording today, the Nintendo Switch came out, and that's exactly what I picked up. So we're going to get that into that last. Um, first up, we'll get into some limited run stuff. Surprisingly, I don't have any games to show, because they haven't shipped whatever games we bought last time yet, but I have received the Odd World Stranger's Wrath HD playing cards. So that's pretty cool. These were actually free. Um, I kind of screwed up. Well, <clears throat> not really screwed up, but they were free, but you had to pay like $5 shipping. So they were like, oh, well, wait till... The release is coming out the next day, and then you can bundle it, and then you'll get free shipping. And these will be essentially free. But, I was like, well, screw that, because I know how how many savages are at limited run when, like, something goes on sale. It's, like, sold within five minutes. So, once I got that email, I'm like, screw that. I'm just going to get it, and that's it. So, these are just, like, five bucks. Um, retail, these were, like, fifty. So, yeah, so I got them. So that's pretty cool. I got another Odyssey 2 game. Aaron the Ant. And this game's pretty cool. I saw some uh, gameplay video of it a couple days ago. And this is by um, Chris Reed. So, it's a fun game. To... And I like how um, my friend Tim, he makes these. Yeah, he puts these in these really rugged uh, cases. Like, really hard. Sounds su suggestive, but anyway, yep, 20 of 100 I got. Here's the game. Yeah. So yeah, these are in some nice cases. Look, and they look good on the shelf, too. So there's that. Then for the game of the month this month, it's Jack and Daxter. So I ended up picking up the the trilogy. Yeah, uh, can't speak the trilogy <laughs> for PlayStation Three. <coughs> I was going to just play my PS Two version, but Corey had me at Easy Platinum. So thank you, Corey. I was like, oh man, I haven't had a platinum in forever. So here, these are easy. Or at least the first one's Easy Platinum. Now the weird thing is, apparently two and three suck. Like, the only good one is one, because they switched up, um, the gameplay. Like, I think the, if I remember correctly, the second one's, like, third-person view. I don't know. And this one's, like, more, like, first one's, like, action platforming. Who knows? But there's that. Then, uh, I was watching Pat the NES's Punk's, um, podcast, and he was talking about the reprint of Yakuza 1 through 4. Now, I'm sure most of you know Yakuza 2 is apparently a super rare game on the PlayStation 2. So I was like, you know what? I, just, I, I don't have that whole lot of money to buy all of them. So I was like, I'm going to go with the rare one. So I ended up picking up Yakuza 2. Brand new, reprinted on the PS2. I guess it's reprinted because there's no nothing on the top there, but it's officially... Sealed, it's not resealed or anything like that. But apparently, <coughs> this is still hard to find. I, for I, I forgot before making the video to check eBay or an Amazon to make sure they don't have these in stock anymore. But last time I checked, this was out of stock. Now, I was on the fence about getting the first one, and I just picked it up the beginning of this week. It should be here, like, probably tomorrow. So, I'm going to put a little image, GIF image right there of the first one. So there, that's my cheap-ass pickup of the first one. There you go. There you go. I got one and two on the PlayStation 2. Brand new sealed. I hear these games are really good. It's supposed to be like um, Shenmue-esque. So yeah, so it looks pretty cool. There. I don't know, but check it out. And we get into the big hitter. 
the Nintendo Switch. You know, I only picked up one game. We got Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, everyone keeps asking about the dimension of this, of this game. Or the, the case. It's basically three quarters uh, thickness of a PSP case. And it's like, maybe, like, like, pretend like the bottom, like right here my thumb is where a PSP case would be. So it's slightly shorter than the PSP case in, uh, height. So yeah, looks, it's pretty cool, nice and thin. Here it doesn't have the manual, I'm not going to open it. It doesn't have a manual, just the game. It's like this small or whatever. <laughs> Which I hear... They have like a coating on the plastic where if, so like if it's because it's so small, if little kids like try to eat it, they like completely like spit it out because it's like supposedly gross. I don't know. So here it is, the Nintendo Switch. I'm kind of upset. I got this from Amazon. Uh, the as you can see, the corner got a little damage right there. Hmm, right there. So like, I don't know. I was. I was talking to some people, and they're like, ah, oh, you know, it's fine, whatever, um, so, I mean, it is what it is, it's, this, this side's fine, it's not, like, broken or anything, and the rest of the box is in good shape, but, the reason I bring that up is, actually, my PlayStation 2, when I bought it from Target back in 2001, look at that, that's how I bought my PlayStation 2 at Target. It looked like someone kicked it, like, down the aisle. And this thing still works. Works perfectly. Boots all my games up. I only had one issue with it. It would, like, stop reading my disc when I was playing uh, Indigo Prophecy. I ended up just buying one of those, like, CD lens cleaner discs. And it worked perfectly, and it's been working ever since. So, I mean, it's... Should be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll do a quick unboxing. I'm not going to go in full detail because I know there's a million uh, videos online of everyone doing an unboxing. So. so here it is when you open it. You got your Nintendo Switch. Both your Joy-Cons right there. It looks fine. As you can see, it's... Yeah, see, it's slightly dented there, but, I mean, this Joy-Con's fine. It's not, like, broken or anything. So, there's that. See, not cracked or anything. Hmm. Yeah, they're pretty small. You hold it up to the case, it's like... Half the of the case. That's cool. And then underneath is this. So what do we have here? HDMI. And underneath it is the power. Oh my god, I can't see myself. Power. I don't know why. And on either side they put the the straps. For the Joy Cons are on either side here. Oh, if you can see, there you go. This thing is the dock, the manual. Wait, oh, never mind. Sorry, this isn't the dock. This thing is actually the controller holder. Is that? Ooh, shiny. That's where that goes. That's the controller holder. Right here is where the dock is. I'm not going to take it out. It's, everyone's seen it before, so... <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited to set this up and check it out. Um, yeah. Hopefully it's not broken. And yeah, it's, this one seems fine.
It was like one of those like remotes for um, like a fan or something. It was really nice. I don't think like I don't think they're too too small, but of course I have like small fingers anyway. So yeah, so that's my latest pickups. Um, this is MT Shark Seven signing out. Have a good night.